Hello and welcome to Bell Curve Gaming, and today we're going to have a look at the new Mewtwo from Detective Pikachu, non-GX version this time, and I love the artwork here. So, what's this guy do? Well his first attack's just good for really stalling if you need to try and buy yourself a turn. With the Psyjack, 30 damage, but you get to choose one of your active Pokemon's attacks and they can't use that in the next turn. Which is kind of nice and really good if you get yourself into a bit of a bind and just need to buy yourself a turn. But the main attack we're using is Break Burn, 130 damage which is good for two shots and we've got to discard two Psychic Energies from this Pokemon. So obviously Psychic Pokemon, we are going with a Malamar variant to Psychic Recharge so we can continue attacking every single turn. So because of that we also bring Giratina in because he's got Distortion Door and basically just rescue stretches himself onto the field and also chucks a couple of damage counts on while he does so which is kind of nice and we're going with Tapu Coco to give ourselves free retreat which when one of our Mewtwo's or maybe the Giratina goes down we chuck the Tapu Coco out there and we can use our Malamars to psychic recharge and get ourselves continuing and going. Marshadow here, he was a late addition to the deck, we came across against a couple of bigger ROMs, we needed a tech option against them and that's what Marshadow here is for, for the Shadow Hunt ability and we've seen that previously uh, in the Mewtwo GX deck of the version of this. So that's the deck, we're really looking at shrines to try and chip into uh, the GX Pokemon, Acrobikes to accelerate the deck and the rest of it is pretty stock standard. So shall we begin? I think we shall. Hello Excellus and welcome. All right, let's see how this Mewtwo rolls. Decent number of basic Pokemon for you. Come on, pass it over. There we go. Alright, so Inkay up front. Not the greatest of starting hands. Okay, this is. I'm going to need to be able to get the first attack off somehow. Probably should have acrobiked first just so I knew what I had with that. So Acrobike, get a Mysterious Treasure, chuck the Shrine out of him, we'll Mysterious Treasure away this guy, we'll go and get ourselves another Inkay down, well I've prized two Inkay as well. What we are going to do here is we're going to let loose. Just to hopefully slow up our opponent a little bit. I know it's only one less card, but... Just need to be as aggressive as I can on this, I feel. So we'll go and get ourselves... We can't get any more in case, Which is a shame. We might go and get Tappy Coco down. And we'll Orangaroo down as well. We'll instruct before we shuffle. Do need to find myself more NGs. So I've got an NG attachment, that's good. We will shuffle. So, got a Malmar for the next turn. I'm going to have two NGs bin. We'll retreat out to the Tapu Coco. And we'll leave it like that. Got enough to get a second Malmar up, so that's good. It would be kind of funny to get off a Psyjack at some stage. <laughs> but yeah, I just basically need to be able to get Mewtwo's up every turn. That's what's important here. Or Giratina, so bidding a Giratina at some point would be good as well. Doesn't look like I've got any supporters coming, that's alright. Got a hand I like. I 
So he certainly got himself going, had an Ericus. Got great value out of the Ericus. It's a little bit awkward, I'm only going to have two Malamars, but hopefully that'll be enough. Certainly enough for this turn. So, we'll get rid of you two. Go and pull me in another Malamar. Interesting that the DCE went on to where it did. Although it'd be a waste on all the hop hips, I guess. So, true that. We'll go and pull in a Psych Kenji. Charge up the Mewtwo so it's ready to roll. Well, Orangaroo first. Probably should have kept the Cynthia for that reason. Or we'll Acrobike here. Wouldn't have mind finding that Giratina. We will Lily at the moment because I do like keeping the Mewtwo in hand. Gives me an attacker on the next turn, which is super important. Find me that Giratina. Okay, that's unfortunate. Oh uh, well, we'll retreat out to the Mewtwo. We will break burn. Smack into you. Get a prize card. There's the Giratina. It was prize. No wonder I wasn't finding it. Just to give me another attacking option. So with only dual Malamar up, I do need to keep Psychic Engies in hand. Got three in the bin. That's going to be super important, just to continue to keep Psychic Engies in the hand. So I might actually attack with the Giratina on the next one, just so that's in the bin. When he KOs it. And then we go from there. It's going to be all about, can I keep consistent enough? So it's super important that I did get the first KO, which I did get, so... And Tapicoco is here to provide a free retreat. So that's really good as well. So I'm probably leaving this hand as it is, because I've got Psychic Energies in hand. And I need that. That's super important. And the other option, if I do brick up, is to actually use the Psyjack on the Lost March. But he's got free retreat, so that's actually not an option. I'm going to think about that. Did you just not get the KO? You just didn't get the KO. Uh, I need switching options all of a sudden. Guzma. That'll do me. So we'll goose my up, we'll bring up this jump luff. Although right now you can't KO me. And that's kind of funny. No, bring up the attacker. Bring up the attacker. And now we psychic recharge. Continue the Psychic Recharge. Missing that KO hurts. For you. Right now I'm pretty happy just to hit back in. Don't need to put any energies down. We we'll smash in. Get rid of that Jump Luff. Get myself a second prize card. So I can actually whiff for a turn now. Doesn't matter so much. That gives me a huge advantage now. With one of your jump luffs down. And suddenly you've got to maintain attackers as well. I can't believe you didn't manage to get the KO. I just assumed you had it. Yeah, it's six in there. That is a big miss. 
Still wondering why you're powering up a Ranguru. Because I'm not going to have too many energies on the Mewtwo. I mean, I will on the Giratina that's coming. So that's a thing. But if I do that, I'll have three NGs on you. Okay, you're gonna take up the Oranguru instead. That's all right. I can live with that. So tap Keiko up front. You've still only got six in here. That is kind of hilarious. So we'll go Giratina down now. We'll psych NG to him. Just recharge him back up. I just want Giratina in the bin, that's all. So that way he is always an option for the remainder of this matchup. And then we just retreat out. I've got everything in hand I really want. So right here we Shadow Impact. And right now I'm going to actually put the damage counters on Oranguru. Because it's kind of hilarious that you don't have a 130 attack right now. So you're going to have to find your way into another attack, like something else into the Lost Zone. Surely you get into it now. <laughs> I mean, putting the damage on the Orangaroo just forces him to have to find something, and he's got it now. He's got it now. Alright, so he's one-shotting. Gave me a bit of a lead to do that too. Seriously can't believe he missed on that. I wasn't even watching what he was doing, I just assumed he had it. Alright, so now Giratina will be in the bin. And I've got Mewtwo in hand, ready to roll. Once again, I'm pretty happy not to... Not to ditch this hand. Just for the moment. So on Mewtwo, we can energy attach, we can get straight into attacking for the next two turns. And then after that, it's just about finding another Psychic Engie. Because Giratina can come in and finish off if I need him to. So I'm feeling pretty good about things. And like I said, even if I whiff for a turn, that's okay. And if he does target one of the Malamars, well, I can just go and get another Malamar up while I keep attacking with Giratina. So I'm feeling like I'm in a pretty dominant position at the moment. Right, so I just have, I think, just all the answers I need. We'll see what he does. See if he can pull something out that I'm just not thinking about. Yep, so there we go. Tap a Coco back up front. The other option might be trying to hit my Tap Coco so he gets out of my free retreat options. That could be an option for him. So we'll chuck me two down. Got a Psychic Genji for him. We'll go and get ourselves all charged up, ready to roll. You might as well have a choice band as well, why not? Don't think there's anything else I want to do at the moment. We just break burn, smash through the jumper. Get myself another prize card. So I just need one more Psychic Engie, that's the thing that I'm going to be looking for. Five, there's six, seven. So I should have four more. Somewhere. And I've burnt through the deck pretty quickly, so... I should be able to find my way into another one. At least that's the hope anyway. Like I said, if I whiff, I should have a second chance on it as well, so that's good by me. Mm -hmm. 
We might nest ball for the... Uh... For the Mewtwo. Although I want to think about it, you just chuck that into the active. I can get a KO with only two NGs. That is definitely how we're playing. With Nato in the active, I can actually get a KO with only two NGs. Which is awesome. Because it means I don't even have to waste this other NG that's in hand. It's fantastic, so... Alrighty. So Nest Ball, we'll see if we can go on Nest Ball from you two instead. Yes, we can. How many NGs are in deck? So four in here. That's all good. But like I said, I don't even need to NG attach this turn, so we just Psychic Recharge. Chuck it onto the Mewtwo. Psychic Recharge again. Onto the Mewtwo. Retreat out and smash through. Weakness damage. And then Mewtwo can finish things off in a true Mewtwo deck fashion. All right, Tapu Koko, you're out of here. There, Mewtwo, you're out. And you attach. Psychic Recharge. And I won't waste his time. We'll just retreat out. And just go with Psychic. Uh, Psyjack. That's how you very quickly smash through a Lost March deck. That set up for me was absolute gold. And then him whiffing on that first KO. I mean, it didn't matter in the end. I stayed pretty consistent. But yeah, huge. Hello, Cody dude, and welcome. Thank you, Tappy Coco, for showing yourself. Would not have wanted to start with my marsh out up front. Alright, Poipo, so we got Naganadel and what? Fire. Blacephalon. Alright, Blacephalon deck. Can this thing kill Blacephalon? Going second. It's going to be tough. I mean, I can stop him from using Mind Blown at least for a turn. Potentially. I don't know. We'll see. See how we go. There could be a Marshadow coming my way as well. Should be pretty devastating. Yeah, <laughs> gonna do to me what I've been doing to other people. All right, so come on luck. At least give me a way into a marshal back or something. Erica's it's better than nothing. Nespel. Uh what do we want here? I think we want to use our NG well, so Go get Mewtwo. We'll chuck NK down. Chuck the NG onto the Mewtwo. We will shrine and we'll Erica's. Makes me a bit sad that I didn't get away into a Marsh Shadow. And I don't have anything binned. So that's a little bit awkward. Oh, we're done there. I think maybe I shouldn't have got this second in game. Maybe I should have got a Rangaroo.
So what are you gonna go with here? Gonna go with the Burst GX or the Bursting Burn? Burst GX. Alright. So I can sidejack the mind blown for a little bit and try and make things awkward while I'm trying to unbrick myself. So this has to be for a Rangaroo now. Please don't be prized. Good. So we can go Mally, Psychic NG, Mewtwo. Unfortunately, I just need to clear out. So Instruct. We do have our way into draw support now, so we'll Acrobike, we'll go and get an NG. We'll bin one, which is good. And I think we Lily for now, just for four, because I'm pretty happy with the state of play. So we'll Psychic Recharge, we'll go and get one of these guys onto the Mewtwo. We will... Save the Ultra Ball for the next turn. We'll just get rid of a Mysterious Treasure and we'll go and get myself another Mally. And your job is to now start getting up the second Mewtwo. Oops, uh, Psychic Recharge. On to the Mewtwo here. Wouldn't be surprised if he starts attacking with Naganadels rather than the Blacephalons in this match. Which means Giratina might be more important than Mewtwo. That's something to think about. Uh, we'll break burn. Put a lot of pressure on this Blacephalon now, especially with the Shrine in play. Pity it doesn't quite get just that one more. Oh well. Let's see what he goes for here. So I'm mind blown, he's going to have to burn three energies to do it. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if this just becomes a Naganadel deck after this. Which means he's probably going to be ahead of the prize race. So I think I have to change from being a Mewtwo deck to a Giratina deck. That's something I'm going to have to change to. Yep, just going to get rid of the Mewtwo. Smart move. This will go down on the next turn anyway. So that's not a big deal to me. what I need to get up. Oh, the Guzma. That is clutch. That is absolutely clutch here. That is huge. So, we'll Ultra Ball... Guzma first. So we're going to Guzma away to the Mewtwo. We can go and get Giratina up after this, can't we? And I kind of need that energy to be able to attach. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to break burn here. Get rid of this Naganadel. Get a prize card for that. Let the shrine get me the other two. All right. So, it does activate his beast rings. He will have the turning point turn next. So, that's something just to be aware of. But I do go and get Giratina out in any way. Despite the fact Giratina will go down pretty well straight away. But it keeps me ahead of the prize card race all of a sudden. Wasn't expecting Blacephalon to show itself again. Gonna let loose me. Alright. 
That could be clutch for you. A second let loose. To try and get me stuck. Got a Guzma again. It's got Heat Factory. So I need an NG card. Otherwise, I might be a little bit stuck. He's got a second Beast Ring, which is clutch. I need to go and get that Giratina down. Although I can go and get Giratina down. And that's probably the better way to play. So tap it, go, you're up front. See what we top deck. See what we top deck. Giratina. Alright, it's a decent top deck. So Giratina down. We've got a Mally to Psychic Recharge. Do I Ultra Ball Steel to Thin and then Guzma? Who am I guzma to? That's the only thing. Probably Blacephalon. Despite the fact that it can one-shot me. He's on turning point turn anyway. So, we'll Ultra Ball you guys away. I just need to hope I find my way into an NG somewhere. Uh, I don't want to bring anything into this. I just got to hope one of my top three cards is an NG. Oh well. Hello, X Dinfire X. Welcome. This will work. This will work. In K down. And go and get me a second in K. This will work. What have we got? We'll see how we roll. So, draw an extra card. I'm going first, so I'll make those decisions later. Buzz all up front. You're hitting for 60 into my Tapu Coco. I think I can live with that whole ordeal. I think we go Orangaroo down and we go with a shuffle here. Uh, don't think I'm going to need my Marshadow Tech in this game, and I don't have a single energy yet. Ouch. We'll hold on to the Shrine because there's no value out of it at the moment. And you'll likely play a stadium of your own, so we can house that stadium. At least we've got another draw support. A lot's going to happen if I'm going to have any hope of getting Mewtwo up on the next turn. And I mean a lot has to happen. As long as I can get two energies to him though, I'll be happy enough. Because I can hit for weakness and set up a KO on the next turn, but stop him from sledgehammering at least. So that's what I'm thinking. Wish I had a way to get rid of this Marsh Shadow. I don't want to see it in this matchup. I don't think. You're here really for Pigarom and that's about it. Getting perfect draws set up. I do need to get the Tapu Coco out of the active no matter what. So. There's one NG. We will chuck the shrine down. This is because I don't want to pull into that. We'll go Cynthia. We do have a way into that second NG, which is fine. We'll get rid of the NG and get rid of a Mewtwo for now. And we'll go get me Mally. Don't have draw for the next turn, which is of concern. But at least I do have 
and attack with a Mewtwo here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to shuffle that Mewtwo back. We're going to play a second Mewtwo down and then get an Oranguru pull. And we can oust this entire hand and get the KO, which is what I'd prefer. So we're going to go and get me a second Mally. And Aranguru, you're just here to uh, save my day on the next turn. Really? And we'll retreat out to the Mewtwo and we will break burn because I've got to get rid of this puzzle. Right here, right now. That's super important. <laughs> Alright. So that's my third and final stadium that's sitting in my hand right now. Got the candy, straight into it. Well done. But luckily I'm not an evolution Pokemon. Pity I don't hit for weakness, and that's got 150 HP. So I'm two-shotting at best. So what I'm nearly looking at is the Psyjack first, just to bring him within range, and then the Breakburn second. And he got perfect draws now, so I've got to probably go after those perfect draws at some point. Am I a little bit surprised you're doing that? At least you're in three shot territory at the moment. Or I'm only within two shots, so that works for me. Just fine. Uh, we're going to oust this shrine. I know that means that my only stadium hope is gone now, but I just need to find my way into some kind of supporter. So Acrobike now, a Guzma, that'll work, that'll work, that'll play. So we Psychic Recharge, go to the Mewtwo here, we'll get rid of his perfect draws now, which is fine by me. Henji on to you, we'll Guzma up that Makago. And we get another prize card here and get through those perfect draws. So I can thin the hand here again as I'm looking for some draw support. Should have plenty of draw support there. Got enough energy in play now. Ooh, that could be a bad thing. A <laughs> Weavile. Got way too many abilities on the board. But I just need to keep trying to smash, so... We're probably looking at a side jack now. Just to bring him within range what we need is to bring him back in range so we're looking at NG on to you get rid of the Tapu Coco we're not pulling in anything with that instruct with the Oranguru hopefully find my way into a draw support should be plenty there nope no draw support for me oh uh, well we'll psychic recharge we'll start getting the Mewtwo back here all ripe and ready to roll and we'll now just sidejack into the rampart and stop his clean hit. What do I call him? Rampardos. Rampardos? Something like that. So now he's in range. He can't use his clean hit. He does have Buzzwall's uh, Sledgehammer turn though, which will get the KO on the Mewtwo, which will be kind of annoying. Can he get into him? The two retreat cost is looking good for me. But can you get into him? Yeah, he has the switch. Alright, so this Mewtwo's down. 
And the other Mewtwo is just going to have to hit in. I'm going to have to go that way. So we'll tap a Coco up front. We can make the decision of that just in a little bit. And we have a Nest Ball. I'm thinking the Nest Ball is fine at the moment because we can go and get ourselves an Attacker. I'm thinking Giratina is how I play now. Just set up a Giratina and we'll NG onto you. I'm actually thinking we attack with Giratina on this turn instead. That's what I'm thinking about. We'll instruct with the Orangaroo. There's a Lily Pole. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're going to retreat out to the Giratina and you'll damage yourself. Yeah, damage yourself. Smack out that Buzzwall. Get a third prize card. Let's see what's coming. Yep, so the Weave Arm. I've got way too many abilities on the board, but I won't. That happens sometimes. We can get rid of this Weave Arm straight away, which is fine. So that is fine by me. You just get a one prize card pull for that. And I can go and get Giratina out if I need to. I can play however I really would like. So I think we will go and get Giratina out for now. Distortion Door. I think we do roughly the same play as we did last time. Just attacking with Giratina. Got a Guzma in hand, so that's really nice as well. So just recharge the Giratina now. And we'll probably finish with Mewtwo later on. So we'll retreat out to the Giratina. We'll damage yourself again. Shadow Impact. Hurt yourself. Smash through Weavile. And just two prize cards away. A massive overkill on that Giratina before. I do like how the Psyjack really forced his hand on how he had to play though. Getting Weavile out again. The damage here I might actually chuck onto the Tapu Coco. That's because I don't really know what Weavile that one is to come. Hitting for 80, it's 120, it's going to fall 10 short, which is good. I mean, I do have the Guzma for later, but I'm thinking here we probably chuck on the Tapu Coco, that's how I'm feeling. Oh, it's you can't go on the Giratina. Because he's going to clean hit the Giratina here. Interesting. He wants to protect it. What's he thinking? Do I Guzma now? And who am I hitting? The Sneasel. I don't like Sneasel. I don't like having that Sneasel on the board, so... 80 onto you is 140, so you go down. That's okay. I can, I can accept that. I can happily accept that fate. So, we'll break burn here. We'll 
We're one prize card away now. Just get rid of that Sneasel. I just don't like that Sneasel sitting there. Gonna Guzma up. So who are you gonna try and get stuck now? Mally? It's potentially a good move. I mean, the clean hit will get rid of the Mally anyway and the Giratina has game, so that's fine. Hey, if you try and stall and don't KO, well, I've got an Acrobike to see what happens. Yep. Alright, so that's game. There we go, Giratina, go and finish things off for me. So, Shadow Impact, you can hurt yourself. And there we go. Nice, clean win there. Good job, guys, good job. And it is time to rate this deck. So... Staying with damage here, we are a two-shot deck. Mewtwo's attack, 130, not getting much higher than that. Giratina's attack, 130, not getting much higher than that. Yes, we've got Shrines to try and chip in and Choice Bands, so if they've got, you know, 180 or 170 HP Pokemon, hopefully we can chip them down with a Shrine and then get a one-a-shot that way with a Choice Band. But really, we're a two-shot deck, so for me, it's a 7 out of 10. The defense side of things, the 130 HP is just nice enough to stay out of range of some of our decks that can quite consistently hit for 120, maybe not always for 130. So sometimes you are lasting the shot, which is absolutely clutch, and can swing prize card draws into your favor, which is kind of nice. However, 130 it's not ultra beefy, uh, but we're really looking at that one prize card give up and hopefully going one for two against GX decks. So for me, the defense here is an eight out of 10. As for reliability, uh, well, the Mewtwo, basic Pokemon, we can get him up really easy, get him attacking really easy, and Giratina, basic Pokemon, but with that bit distortion door ability, being able to bring him back from the discard anytime that you need another attacker, Super reliable, it's just got the one evolution line with the Malamar, super easy to get up. This deck just gets up and rolling really easy. The Acrobikes give it some speed as well. So yeah, reliability, 9 out of 10 for me. So overall, what do I think? Well, between the two new Mewtwo's that came out with Detective Pikachu, I think I prefer this Mewtwo here. I think he had a bit more of a reliable attack with the break burn that we could get off turn after turn and we could keep putting consistent pressure on our opponent with only giving up one prize card. So yeah, I think I do prefer this one, but overall giving it an 8 out of 10.